Ladies and gentlemen, the Shred Gaming Centricom video, I have great news for those of you who wish to pre-order the R9290X, which of course is the new graphics card from AMD. Of course, this card is going to be ridiculously powerful. It's going to have 4 gigabytes of memory, and it's going to have 300 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, and it's going to hit about 5 teaflops of computing power. And the great news is it is actually available to pre-order in a couple of locations. I'm going to give you guys the locations. Overclockers UK is currently offering a pre-order deposit of £99 that will guarantee you a card at launch. Now, I would like to point out, of course, that you're not going to be buying the card for that, so just be prepared to pay considerably more. Currently, the price is not listed. That will be the Battlefield 4 edition, and Overclockers have said they will have several hundred units ready for the ETA, which is going to be the 31st 10, 2013, or the 31st of October, if you prefer. And luckily for you, they're going to have editions of Sapphire, His, uh, Asus, Gigabyte, and MSI. And then basically midway through the month, you will be contacted, and then you could select a particular brand, or rather, they will ask you to select the brand and pay the additional money. So basically, you have to cough up, and well, that's it. The good news is, however, if you're not happy with how much the damn thing costs, you can ask for it to be refunded. So, Swedish e-tailer uh, e Web Hallen, I'm hoping I've pronounced that correctly, that would be Web and then H-E-H-A-L-L-E-N, -E -E has the Asus Battlefield 4 Premium Bundle up for 9,999KR, and that includes Swedish taxes. Meanwhile, that's doing a direct conversion from Krona to US dollars means you're going to be paying 1575 but that is with Sweden's 25% tax rate, so in which case you'll be looking at about 1262 Meanwhile, for those of you in America, for example, you have Newegg. Newegg are offering both MSI and Sapphire versions of the reference card, and also the XFX version as well. And the price has not been listed, it's just coming as coming soon. However, Tech Power Up messed around with the HTML source code and it's pointing to be 730 US dollars. This is, of course, not inclusive of taxes. So obviously we'll just have to wait uh, to find out what that is. Meanwhile, if you're in Canada, the Canadian branch of Newegg uh, also has exactly the same card. So that would be MSI, Sapphire, and F X F X, and that is going to be 750 Canadian dollars. Um, but that's only listed on their mobile version of the site. That's not listed on the full website for whatever reason. From what we can ascertain, this appears to be two different versions um, of the R9-290X. The first version is got the particular Never Settle bundle, the particular bundle that everyone, of course, would expect. And then there's the Battlefield 4 edition. Now, this comes with Battlefield 4 Premium Key. It does seem that the Never Settle bundle is eventually going to be getting Battlefield 4 Standard as part of it, but that's not now, so in the future. So as for these prices, of course, typical price gouging on a graphics card launch. So normal with vice supplies, if you want to wait a couple of weeks, maybe a month, you're probably going to see the prices start going down quite substantially, so I suppose it depends if you want to be an early adopter. Personally, I would probably recommend waiting anyway, so we can see what the uh, reviews are like, and see what the driver optimizations are, and so on and so forth. But of course, that would be entirely up to you. With all of that said, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. It's been a relatively brief one, but I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.